We've shared many stories with you over the past couple of months as we approach Monday's total solar eclipse. And today, we'd like to take you behind the scenes here at Fox 4 for some eclipse experiences, including an account from the producer of this newscast. Fox 4's Alex Boyer <laughs> joins us now with their stories. Hey, Alex. Hey Clarice, you know when you work in the TV news business, you tend to move around a lot. Well, three Fox 4 employees, one who was already working here at the time, got to experience the path of totality in 2017 and they shared their experiences with us. If you were in North Texas in 2017, then you may recall the beauty that was the partial solar eclipse. This is a sped up view of what the eclipse looked like in Dallas that sunny day. Some people that year were lucky enough to be in the path of totality. Just RVs everywhere. Fox 4 producer Annie Vogeler was working at a TV station in Des Moines, Iowa at the time. She and a crew drove to St. Joseph, Missouri to do a remote shoot. Annie remembers it being cloudy that day, then just at the right time. For about 15 seconds, only during the point of totality, did the clouds clear up. And it was crazy because the sky was so dark. What they call that one the there. Great American yes. Eclipse? Or the Great American Great Eclipse. Eclipse. I think is this one the exactly North? Exactly right. Fox 4 photojournalist Mark Gustafson was working that day, too, at a station in Little Rock, Arkansas. He remembers driving with a meteorologist to Paducah, Kentucky, to be in the path of totality. And we just talked and talked and talked the whole way about how cool is this going to be. It was, and a little hectic at the site, where hundreds of people had gathered on a wide open field along the Ohio River, as Mark recalls. I think our meteorologist did drop to the ground like he was that taken back but <laughs> and I'm just trying to make sure it stays in frame on my camera because again I'm working. Mark captured the moment with his news camera and also managed to snap these photos with his cell phone of the partial eclipse. Fox 4 Good Day producer and astronomy enthusiast Arnold Evans was off the clock when he got to soak in the total eclipse at a ranch in Cedar Hill, Missouri with some friends. And when it did I had to yell out okay everybody take your glasses off and look. And I, I want to say I literally fell to the ground. Oh, wow. um, it was a weird, beautiful, stunning, strange, awesome view. He snapped these photos showing the contrast before and during the total eclipse. And you start to hear, uh, you know, crickets, maybe tree frogs, whatever it else, like, like it was, like the sun was setting. The significance of this monumental moment in time not lost on these three journalists. And there were so many cheers and people hooting and hollering. And as for Monday's eclipse, Annie, who you just heard from there, who is boothing this very show, tells me she plans to watch the eclipse in her backyard along with her four-month-old baby. And now, Mark, who is behind the camera as we speak right now, is going to be in Ennis working again, of course. And Arnold should get to enjoy it again on his own since he finishes producing Good Day at about 10 a.m. You know, that gave me chills hearing Arnold talk about <laughs> how that affected him. That's incredible. It's going to be amazing. And it yeah, really was. we get to witness while we work, don't we, Alex? That's right, <laughs> we do. I'll be working too. <laughs> All right, looking forward to it. Thank you. And Fox 4 is your total solar eclipse headquarters. On April 8th, we're going to have everything you need to know about the eclipse, starting with Good Day at 4 a.m., continuing through totality in the afternoon. You can also learn more about the eclipse on our website, fox4news.com, and on our streaming channel, Fox Local.